I, for the most part, have a problem with movies and TV shows based on the Bible. Here's my problem. No matter how accurate or well-made the movie is, the creators inevitably tweak certain things for the production. They add in conversations to explain something or take something out for the sake of the runtime. And when it comes to the Bible, I can't handle those changes. Uh, those moments eat away at my brain. And I cannot appreciate the media, the content, because I feel like I am watching something that's sticking a needle in my eye. It might be a small thing that they took this out or added that, but those changes are all I can see. Finally, there is a form of Bible content that saves me from that annoyance, and it is the word-for-word -word Bible comic. Now, I've read two books of the Bible that were created by word-for-word -word Bible comic, and I finished both with joy and zero of the frustration over those moments where I felt, why? Why did you need to add this or take out that or change these points? If this has been your frustration with Christian media, then you need to give the word-for-word -word Bible comic a chance. Because if anything, these will just be a breath of fresh air for you, as this comic is just, at least it is for me, it's just the Bible. Instead of distracting from the narratives, the images in here enhance the narrative. They can even serve as an educational function. Now, I would love for you to give me a few minutes of your time to tell you about my favorite parts of the Gospel of Luke from Word for Word Bible Comic and also the one thing that annoyed me in this one. Welcome to Rev Reads. If you want to discover more books that will help you to embrace and enjoy the scriptures, please subscribe to my channel in order to stay up to date with the most current reviews. And also like and share this video with others so that they might know about the work of Word for Word Bible Comic, because their work is worthy of your share. First, as an overall review. I loved the Gospel of Luke in the Word for Word Bible comic. To me, it is a home run. Uh, comparing it to Song of Songs, the first one I reviewed, I think Song of Songs may actually rank a little higher in my mind because of how helpful it can be when reading through that book of the Bible, but Luke was, was right behind it. The illustrations were helpful and not distracting throughout. They were in line with the text. I never feel like the word-for-word -word Bible comic is trying to push a certain theological viewpoint. Uh, this is one set of content that if you love the Bible, whether you are a Baptist or a Presbyterian or an Assembly of God or an Anglican, everyone should love this. Now let me tell you about my one annoyance. When individuals in the Word for Word Bible comic are filled with the Holy Spirit, when they are speaking directly according to their Spirit's leading, they indicate that this is happening by having their eyes turn blue. Now I understand why they do this, and at times it is helpful, but there are other times where it's more distracting than helpful, such as when Elizabeth's eyes turned blue as John the Baptist leapt in her womb. But it's the one place in the comic where I'm thinking, you know, guys, I don't really think someone's eyes turned blue when they were filled with the Spirit. It's a relatively small distraction, and thankfully my only one throughout the graphic novel. So now here are my favorite parts. I love the portrayal of the angels. They actually look how angels are described in the Bible, not in the sanitized way that we often view them, but it shows why they would be terrifying for people who saw them and why the angels need to say, fear not. It also brought a certain grandeur in order to see them portrayed this way throughout. The illustrations of the parables were also excellent. We need to remember that with parables, Jesus is telling stories that are meant to take advantage of our imaginations. We're to form pictures in our minds of the stories that we are reading, and the illustrations in the comic always add to that purpose of the parables. I found them to be 
great. Now, what I was most nervous about going into the Gospel of Luke was covering the crucifixion. I was afraid of it going into to one of two extremes. One being too, too comical, uh, not serious enough. The other of being too grotesque. But I was impressed. I felt like they managed to walk that tightrope of showing the agony and the suffering of Christ, the beating that he endured, and the pain that must certainly have come with the crucifixion without at the same time being needlessly graphic. Their portrayal of Jesus on the cross as entirely naked, but then angling his legs so that as not to show his genitals, I think was the best way to show him on the cross because... In order to be honest, Jesus was most likely entirely nude. It was a further way to humiliate and denigrate someone on the cross, which is exactly what the cross was intended to do. So I found the crucifixion, what I was most nervous about, to be appropriately, I would say appropriately hard to read. And I think it should be a little hard to read, but not unnecessarily graphic. I didn't think they could hit that target, but they really did. I also love the facial expressions throughout this graphic novel, bringing out the looks of anger from the Pharisees or happiness from those who are healed. The emotions in this book are welcomed. At times, I think reading the Bible can become routine for many Christians. We've read these stories dozens of times, and so to see the emotions on individuals as they light up or as they become angry or or as they they weep it really makes the story come alive in a fresh manner the second to last thing i want to include that were my favorites in this book was the inclusion of every word in the new testament i can't express how important it is to have all the words in the gospel of luke there this is the word for word comic and they mean it so you don't have to sit here while you're reading it and shake your head and say well why did they need to add that or why did they take this out it's all there and i am here for it all and finally the best part of luke is the portrayal of the miracles seeing the change in people from before christ cured them to after the miracle and what i love is that at times, people are healed, and they look so different that you would assume that they drew a different person post-miracle in comparison to before the miracle. But then if you go back and you compare the two images, you see that that's the same person, but their expression has changed so much that they look like a new person. And I can't help but think that's how we should all be after we've been touched through the grace of Jesus Christ, after we've been made alive by the Spirit, and I think that that would have happened by a lot of people who were healed, that you'd be like, I'm not even sure that's the same person because they've changed so much by Jesus Christ. And my favorite of these is when Jesus healed the leper. The transformation in that page was just so much. I, I nearly cried when I first read it. I was just thinking how amazing this must have been. I mean, I mean, I don't know how often we're thinking, but but the person with leprosy, they, they could have lost the ends of their fingers. They could have lost the, the tip of the, their nose. And to think of how wonderful it must have been for fingers to come back, to for a nose to regrow its shape, the compassion of Jesus to work such a miracle. I loved it. So I can't imagine someone purchasing this graphic novel and then finishing it and deciding, you know, this just wasn't worth the cost. It is really good. I think, I think the word comic just, just doesn't do its justice. So, so I give a strong recommendation to this for Christians of all ages, but I especially want to give a strong recommendation for adults. And, and even older adults who you would normally never read a comic or, or a graphic novel, but if you've read these old, old stories for a hundred or a thousand times, it might be time for you to read them again with fresh eyes by reading the word-for-word -word comic of the Gospel of Luke.